Many are the rumors about the origin and the legend of Snake Eyes, the first commando of G.I. Joe. There are different theories about it. Some say he was a sergeant of the U.S. Army. After serving in the Southeast Asia with Stalker and Storm Shadow, he left the army to be trained by the Arasikage clan in Japan. After a helicopter explosion during a mission for G.I. Joe, his face was brutally disfigured and his vocal cords were completely destroyed. He covered his face and remained silent forever. Others claim that Snake Eyes began his training as a child adopted by a ninja clan. After years of hard training with Storm Shadow, who hated him with brutality in every training session, he was finally able to defeat his rival. But when his sensei, the closest to a father he has always had, was murdered, Snake Eyes made a bow of silence until he can avenge him. What we know for sure is that he's a Caucasian man with blue eyes trained by a Rasikaya clan, expert in 12 different martial arts, and he's deadly with every close combat weapon, as well as guns and explosives. He's so badass. Sometimes you are lucky enough to see the birth of a great toy line. Sometimes you are lucky enough to get the first figure release of that toy line. And sometimes you are lucky enough to tell the story to others. I am Alberto Arribas from Triple A Toys, and this is getting powerful. The packaging is a glorious piece of art. It comes with a folder with Japanese art print on it that covers and protects the absolutely incredible box that contains the figure and accessories. This amazing box is made of high quality cardboard with UV printing in relief. This is nearly a sculpture of the magnificent art that we first saw in the folder. This stunning box was made by the ancient blind monks of Mitsumine Sanctuary, and after they finished their work, they did Harakiri, because they reached perfection in their lives and had to transcend to a higher level of existence. This box worth it. Ouch! Let's open it and see what's inside. Holy Ninja Gaiden! Have you seen that? This is the print in which the box art is based on. A beautiful print of very high detail and quality in a scroll from the temple of the bald monkey. The wolf, Okami, the great wolf god, benevolent and honest, messenger and avatar of the gods and protector of men. The Oni, symbol of strength and invincibility, a fierce demon who also helps the good people in story tales. The symbol of the Arasikage clan, the Ichin hexagram symbol number 63, that means after completion and already completed. That's the clan tattoo for the warriors that have completed the training. And then, below, there's the box of the figure and the extra accessories, very well protected in black foam. The box that contains the figure is printed in black and unicorn's blood that reflects the light very well and looks super cool. Just look at the back of the box. This art is rad. So shiny is even decorated inside. Superb! The packaging is designed to be awesome. You can open it, display the figure, and then contain its power again inside it. Man, I love this. 
These people knows how to make a special edition of a toy. And here he is, Snake Eyes with his accessories. Well, the ones that came in the box. We'll talk later about the extras. He is the coolest, deadliest, more quiet and blackest ninja ever made. He can kill you seven times before you hit the ground. The school quality, the detail and the final look is shocking. The design is based on the version 2 of the figure that came out in 1985. You have plenty of options of display with this figure. He comes with a backpack full of beautiful and deadly things that we will never see. And a holster for the sword, very well done. The texture is great. They share the same peg to attach it to the figure. So you can put just the backpack. The backpack with the sword as it comes with the vintage figure or just the sword. You have a pistol and a silencer that fits perfectly in the cannon of the gun. Both of them can be stored in the holster. A submachine gun to deliver freedom in the distance. And a hunting knife. You have two extra hands to customize your display even more. One throw in a shuriken. And the other is the one with the Kung Fu show off pose. Because this guy knows that sometimes a good slap is enough. The grenade belt can be removed to increase stabbing speed. Unfortunately, the backpack adds some extra upper weight to the figure, which makes it a little unstable sometimes. That's what happens when you collect trophies. Well, a base for the figure will be appreciated. The articulation points of this guy are tremendous. He has a ball joint in the head, in the neck. You can move the arms all around. Swivel in the biceps, double join in the elbow, and swivel in the wrist. It has this movement too. Oh wait, the extra hands has a different articulation. Mother of God, what have they done with this? It's excellent. You have a little range of articulation in the shoulders as well. You can bend the torso and dodge pallets during the killing spree thanks to this ball joint in the hip. Ball joints in the legs to make a deadly split and put his feet directly to your face. Swivels in the upper legs. Double joint in the knees. Swivel at the boot cut. And the ankles can move and pose any way you want to make the coolest martial art poses you've always dreamed to do by yourself. But you can, because you are affected by the real world physics, alright? Snake Eyes has glossy, matte and textured parts. He has the look. Now let's go with the extra accessories. He comes with two camas to climb your chest like a goat, two sides, or a Japanese fork for pizza. One nagakami. It's, it's like a sword with a really long handle. One glaive to perform some Darth Maul moves. Two throwing axes. Because when you go to the store, you don't buy just one, right? One means sao, because once you chop, you can't stop. All of this is stored in its gorgeous stand, decorated in the backside with the sculpture of two ancient gods, Fujin, god of the wind, and Raijin, god of the lightning and thunder. They are brothers, that's why they're represented together. In the sides of the stands, 
are too protective Okamis. All of these made in shiny black onyx and bones from a dragon. This piece took my heart at first sight. With all this equipment, he's ready to fight for your freedom! And the return of Rick Moranis to the big screen. Prepare your reign as terrorist! That is disgusting! Here comes Snake Eyes! Classified! Deluxe! Edition! The first figure of the new G.I. Joe line, and this has been his powerful review. Reject imitations, the power remains original! If you like this powerful review, share it with your friends. And don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and hit the bell thing to stay tuned for more powerful reviews and other stuff. Sayonara, Imaginators. Hey, haven't you subscribed yet? Hmm. <laughs>